I love you, I love you, honey bunny. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And the up to you fucking pricks move! And I'll execute every motherfucking last one of you! <laughs>
Okay, so tell me again about the hash bar. Okay, what you want to know? Hash is legal there, right? Yeah, it's legal, but ain't 100% legal. I mean, you just can't walk into a restaurant, roll the joint, and stop puffing away. I mean, they want you to smoke in your home or certain designated places. And those are the hash bars. Yeah, it breaks down like this, okay. It's, it's legal to buy it, it's legal to own it. And if you're the proprietor of a hash bar, it's legal to sell it. It's legal to carry it, but, but, but that doesn't matter, because get a load of this, all right. If you get stopped by a cop in Amsterdam, it's illegal for them to search you. I mean, that's the right the cops in Amsterdam don't have. Oh, man, I'm going. That's all it is to it. I'm fucking going. <laughs> no, baby, you dig it the most. But you know what the funniest thing about Europe is? What? It's a little differences. I mean, they got the same shit over there that they got here, but it's just, just there, it's a little different. Example. All right, well, you can walk into a movie theater in Amsterdam and buy a beer. And I don't mean just like a little paper cup. I'm talking about a glass of beer. And in Paris, you can buy a beer in McDonald's. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh, man, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. What do they call a Big Mac? Big Mac's a Big Mac, but they call it Le Big Mac. Le Big Mac. <laughs> what do they call a Whopper? I don't know. I didn't go on a Burger King. You know what they put on French fries in Holland instead of ketchup? What? Mayonnaise. God. Hey. <laughs> I seen them do it, man. They fucking drown them in that shit. Yeah. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger, those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee.
preacher's son And when his daddy would visit, he'd come along When they gather around and started talking Passing Billy would take me walking Out through the backyard we go walking Then he'd look into my eyes Lord knows to my surprise The only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man The only boy who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man You see what he was Talking to me, he come and tell me everything is alright. He kiss and tell me everything is alright. Can I get away again tonight? The only one who could ever reach me was the son of a preacher man. The only boy who could ever teach me was the son of a preacher man. Yes, he was. He was.
The streets are filled with regret Maybe down in lonesome town I can learn to forget Maybe down in lonesome town I can learn to forget
My nights don't seem so endless My days don't seem so bare I'm walking on a cloud And there's music in the air I feel just like a live wire I've been thrilled through and through Since I first met you The stars that shine at night Seem so more clear and bright The world seems fresh and sweet Myself a new love At last I found a true love Honey Now that I have you Now that I have you A girl in love by charm A dance, a dance that made the song
first contestants here this evening. Young lady, what is your name? Mrs. Mia Wallace. And uh, how about your fella here? Vincent Vega. All right, let's see what you can do. Take it away. It was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished them well. You could see that Pierre did truly love the mademoiselle. And now the young monsieur and madame have rung the chapel bell. C'est la vie, c'est the old folks. It goes to show you never can tell. They furnished off an apartment with a two-room robot sale. The coolerator was crammed with TV dinners and ginger ale. But when Pierre found work, the little money coming worked out well. C'est la vie, c'est the old folks. It goes to show you never can. You never can tell They bought a souped up chitney It was a cherry red 53 And drove it down to Orleans To celebrate the anniversary It was there where Pierre Was waiting to the lovely mademoiselle C'est la vie, c'est the old folks Go to show you never can tell Thank you. 
played even I'd be your queen But someone was cheating And it wasn't me the jack wing out the gimp I think the gimp's sleeping well I guess you just have to go wake him up now won't you It's a chopper, baby. Whose chopper is this? Zed's. Who's Zed? Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. <laughs> Bye.
Want some bacon? No, man, I don't eat pork. Are you Jewish? No, I ain't Jewish. I just don't dig on swine, that's all. Why not? Pigs are filthy animals. I don't eat filthy animals. Yeah, but bacon tastes good. Pork chops taste good. Hey, sewer rat may taste like pumpkin pie, but I'd never know, because I wouldn't eat the filthy motherfuckers. Pigs sleep and root and shit. That's a filthy animal. I ain't eat nothing ain't got sense enough to disregard its own feces. How about a dog? Dog eats his own feces. I don't eat dog either. Yeah, but do you consider a dog to be a filthy animal? I wouldn't go so far as to call a dog filthy, but they're definitely dirty. But dogs got personality. Personality goes a long way. Uh, so by that rationale, if a pig had a better personality, he'd cease to be a filthy animal. Is that true? Well, we have to be talking about one charming motherfucking pig. I mean, he had to be ten times more charming than that arm on Green Acres, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>